As the daylight that once comforted the valley begins to fade and the sun retreats back over the horizon, we begin to appreciate the resources around us. The measurement of time itself defines our roles and our ability to survive as a population and as a player. When we lose track of such a measurement, our reality begins to fade along with the light of day. We were sent here for a reason. One true mission. We must survive. Welcome to Cynical SMP. Yo, what's going on guys? It is Saltzko here with Cynical SMP Season 1 and we got the boys around us, and girls actually. Um, I'm not going to start by, you know, doing too much talking about the server. I'm going to introduce you guys the roster, go to all these little beautiful YouTubers here, let them introduce themselves, and then we can get straight on with the season. So I'm going to start with Abra over here. How are you doing, man? Well, that was a great start. Funky Studio. <laughs> You want to tell me about yourself? I'm a small YouTuber and I just make stupid videos for a living. I, I don't really, I, 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 just stupid stuff. Well, welcome to the S&P. Um, if that is your intro, go ahead and pass your microphone on to Granola. How's, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Uh, I'd like to say that I'm absolutely in love with the man to the left of me. Mm -hmm. uh, and, here, and that's going to be my intro. Here you go, last. Mr. Work. Hi, um, this is my husband, Granola. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, yeah, I'm a verified Spotify artist and I make bad videos on the internet. Cool. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ethan. I like to stream on Twitch. I have a YouTube channel as well, but I'm super hyped for the SMP. I don't really know anyone here, but I got invited by Roger. Should be a party. And yeah. Excellent. Welcome to the SMP. Yeah, thank you very much. Awesome. Well, I'm here. My name's Shadowstorm. I'm here to represent the six subscriber gang. I'm happy to be <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I'm Weedles, uh, and it's not after the Pokemon. I made that name before I knew what that was. Uh -huh. And I make Bed Wars videos, even though I'm really bad at it. Hi. Hi. I make montages for no reason. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Waffle. I started with animation, and now I'm doing Minecraft. And that chicken guy over there is giving me Olive Garden when I'm famous. Hello, I am Josh, and uh, I, I'm a TikToker turned YouTuber, and yeah, I make videos. Subscribe. <laughs> Alright, well, this man's in the floor. This should be interesting. Hey, um, I'm Kyrotech. <laughs> nice to meet you. May I just say first, Shadow, I love your skin. Um, I make, you know, just YouTube videos, and I want to be a musician. I'm not. Here. <laughs> Hi, Arkeo. Hi, my YouTube is Ultra Order. And will anybody buy me? Nice. I'm Is pretty sure it? my mic was disabled. It was. You want to do that again? <laughs> <laughs> I said my entire speech. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll say it again awkwardly. <laughs> I came here to stab famous people for clout. That means all of you. But little did I know, PvP wasn't even allowed. So I guess I'm here to make friends now. So hi. And conquer you guys. Oh. Beautiful. Right, I don't know why everyone's still standing here. Go make some friends, go play some S&P, and I'd say go be rich, but that's my job. So I'll see you all later. Have some fun, guys. Alrighty, guys, what's going on? I'm trying to do an intro here, but oh my god, this pillager's like right next to me. And um, yeah, so the S&P has started. Um, I've got so many mobs around me um, that I don't want to be around me, and it's also going dark, which is not good. So I'm, I'm just gonna try and get this log without being destroyed. Oh, no, I have to go somewhere else. I have to- Look how many- Oh my god! Look how many there are! Oh, there better be a tree over in this corner over here, because otherwise I'm screwed if there is not a tree over here. Please tell me there is one. If I go up here and there's not a tree, is there- There's not a goddamn tree here. All right, so we, we found this little forest that's close to spawn. We're just gonna, we're just gonna mine here, <laughs> and um, and hope that we're not killed by any pillagers. I kind of wanna. So I don't know. Like, can you, if you kill like enough pillagers in there, can you get them to like stop spawning? So I imagine you can make like a pretty cool farm out of that. I feel like, I don't know. I might, I might experiment with that tower. It is pretty close to spawn though, so um, 
I don't know, yeah, it's gonna, it's actually gonna be interesting, being as it is so close to spawn. We're gonna grab quite, like, probably about two trees here, because I normally only go for the one and then grab some stone. However, I kind of want to grab a boat, guys, and then travel somewhere else. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing this SMP is living, like, further away from spawn, um, and then coming back to spawn using a never hub and building, like, a shop at spawn. That is my, that is, like, my main plan for this SMP. I do want a shop at spawn. Oh, look, 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 what the? <laughs> I don't like that one bit. <laughs> I'm getting myself out of there. That is... That is way too many pillagers. I'm kind of liking the look of this underwater boat. Let me have a... Let's have a little peek down here. See if I can find a chest. Uh, when it's in... Ooh! A diamond! Okay! Okay, I didn't see that straight away, but we got a diamond. That was... What? You can just find these? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, we got, uh, we got 14, 14 iron right there, plus we can make some more with these nuggets, and we got lapis, hey, that's good for enchanting. There's normally two chests in these, so we're gonna go down here. Oh, yeah, there it is, there it is. Um, right. These are terrible. <laughs> these are so bad. We'll take the food, though. Oh, and coal, actually. Come on, coal, coal, coal. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Good. Yeah, look at me. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking stacked, okay. There might be people out there with iron armor, maybe even di diamond. Uh, I doubt it at this point. I'm looking pretty stacked. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this beautiful area that Hank has found. We are going to be living here, hopefully myself, Hank, Josh, and the rest of the team. But damn, just take a look at the surroundings here. Like, doesn't this just look so, so beautiful? We've got, we got the, whole, the whole jungle over there. We've got a massive plains over here stretching out. We've got a massive forest there. You know, we have horses. I believe that Josh and Hank have traveled this way slightly. But just like, just take a look at the size, like and, and like how flat it is. Like, damn, we can we can do a big a big amount of builds out here. Oh my god! And it looks like someone's gone around and killed a bunch of chickens. Oh my god! Why is there so much just raw chicken meat everywhere? So, there's been a massacre. But like, oh my god, this area looks so nice, and there's so much space here as well. There's so much potential to like to just build a massive, massive city. Like. This looks so nice. Yeah, 100%. This is the area, I think, guys. Yeah, 100%. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Hank. Hank's bit... So, I, I, I'm assuming this is Hank. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will. This is Hank. <laughs> Someone's been killing all these poor shit. Hey, I might I might as well join in, right? All right, so I think Hank is in there. Hank, are you over... You're over by the, the bamboo, I'm right? Bamboo I'm coming towards you. I'm, oh, I see you. I see you. Hello. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. You're looking kind of broke. Boy, you're looking kind of... <gasps> Thank you. Damn. Hey, I've got a gift for you. See this beautiful thing right here? <laughs> it's all mine. <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> you can you can have that, man. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm a nice guy, you know. I like... So, I'm think I'm definitely thinking I want to build, like, in the plains. Um, are we all building like right next to each other, or are we having like a, a like a bit of a gap between each other? We have a bit of a gap, yeah. Okay, I think I think eventually we should definitely link our areas up and make like a nice little city. Yeah. Um, looking around now, this, we have so much room here. Like we've got so much potential. All right, Hank, yo, can you show me where you live? Like where you're going to be building? Right over here. Over, over by a crafting table. Lake, yeah. Okay, that's, that's right behind me. <laughs> okay, so this is a uh, all part of my. Oh. <laughs> Just a hey, come on, man! I've, I've got my I've got my leather tunic on. You can't be damaging it. All right. Um, cool story. So <laughs> this whole lake, sort of thing, pond, river, whatever you uh -huh. want to call it, it can be that. Why not? Yeah. It's gonna be all mine. So, oh my god, this is! I didn't realize how big this biome was. Yeah, it's actually a mad area. This is. I say it's I don't know where I don't know where to build then because like this bi this biome is like. Do you think like do you reckon it'll be okay if I build on the other side of the river to you? Like yeah, like true. east. All right, yeah, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build east then. Josh, are you planning? Are you planning on living like in the in the biome as well? Yeah, but I haven't really found a specific spot. Yeah, I, I think, I think I found. I found, I've just found the sweet spot. I think. You know, you, you know that that, be, that that nice meet me in the middle kind of spot. You know what I mean? I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna choose this area right here. 
Alright, so honestly guys, I think using my one diamond that I've got, I'm actually just going to craft a shovel, and you may think, hang on, that's your only diamond, so it's cool. <laughs> Are you sure you really want to use it on a shovel? So hear me out, what I want to do with a mine, rather than just having like a staircase down, um, like I normally would do, I think I kind of want to have like a mine shaft, uh, which I don't actually know where I'm going to build yet, so hear, hear me out, hear me out, here's my idea for the, for the area, right? I'm thinking about possibly having like, like a big, either like a window, or maybe like a doorway over here. Um, so maybe, maybe, because I'm going to flatten out all this area, right? So maybe a doorway there, maybe do a bit of terraforming to the mountain, make it a bit higher, you know, who knows, who knows? And then I kind of want a staircase here um, that will take me on top of this little hill and I'll have like a nice little house, nice little castle here. It won't be the main one. Um, it'll be a nice little temporary house, you know, um, while I start working on like bigger projects. And then down here in the middle, I kind of want like all my farms, so... Maybe a bit of wheat. Uh, definitely a cow farm. Like, I find cows super effective. So, honestly, I think we're just going to start mining and uh, see if we can get some better loot. Alright, so what you guys may be able to notice, I've done like a nice little, like, kind of like an 8x8, uh, just just hole. <laughs> um, which in the future I'm going to be, I'm going to be using this to dig down. And this will go probably down to like Y11. And this will be the official, like, mine shaft of my area here. However, I don't think I'm going to use this mine shaft to go mining right now. I think I'm just going to honestly just physically just walk and find a cave entrance, like, on the surface of the, on the surface. Uh, like, you know, so, that's not a cave, never mind. Um, but we're going to go around and just look for caves and try and just go, like, you know, just walk down one. Um, because it looks like, like, you know, there's a lot of potential for there to be open caves here. Like, look how big this area is. We have so much to explore. I love the fact that we have a jungle, you know, just over in that direction. We have an ocean over there. Oceans are so, like, they're, they're useful now. Because now, now, the 1.14 ocean update is, uh, <laughs> is, wait, was it 1.14? I feel like it was, pro it might have been 1.13 or... <laughs> whatever, whatever the ocean update was, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, we've got all these boats, all the oh, coral over there. Um, but these boats will be very nice to explore. So I ended up getting a diamond from one. Um, now, it's for, uh, there's a lot of a lot of horses here, but I'm not I'm not seeing a whole lot of I'm not seeing a whole lot of cavery. All right, guys. So I came over to Hank's area. <laughs> it was just it's like my my house is like 200 blocks that way. So I, I travel quite a distance, and uh, this looks like a potential cave. Um, so I guess we'll just explore it. So I've still got my beautiful leather chest plate on, you know. I could have made an iron one, but I decided <laughs> I decided I want to keep the leather. I should probably make a I should probably make a a shield as well. Because I don't know, early game the mobs can kinda do quite a bit of damage, so maybe a shield would be very beneficial. We are gonna grab a bit of coal because I find coal just very useful, like I I, I tried like when I go mining I try to get at least a couple stacks of coal because it, if you have no coal like you're in a really tough situation you know so it's always it's good for food it's good for resources it's pretty much good for good for every situation now you please get out of my hole thank you <laughs> all right we're fine we're fine we're fine uh, that's all the coal so we can just you know we're, we're, just, we're just gonna get a nice bit of coal a bit of iron. Uh, so I'm really excited for the series, guys. Honestly, like I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys end up. Oh, that is a creeper! No, thank you. <laughs> I'm really hoping that you. Oh, actually, can I get into boat the coal? You wanna? Yeah, what? <laughs> Two whole pieces of coal. Excellent. <laughs> um, so guys, what was I saying? I, I, I really. Well, this cave was terrible. God oh, damn. So it turns out I'm actually just a massive idiot. Um, <laughs> the cave that I explored right there actually happens to have a massive ravine right here, <laughs> which <laughs> I actually I had no idea this was here. So I guess I guess we're now mining in here. Okay, this is excellent as well. Like it splits off into a nice little cave. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, there's a few you know connecting caves to it. This cave doesn't look like it's going to take me anywhere. Is this going to be a dead end? Yeah, it looks like it. That's fine. Um, I should probably I should probably should have thrown that dirt out. It's okay. I kind of do want to go for some diamonds in this episode, um, just for at least a pickaxe, you know. Um, because once we have done pickaxe, we can start getting obsidian. We can start making a nether portal, you know, all the, all that kind of good stuff. And um, yeah, definitely, I, I just would like some more diamonds, you know. Make make me feel like I I have a slight bit of wealth to me on the server. Oh, Mr. Skeleton, I think I'll. Poor guy. This ooh, okay. This ravine looks <gasps> ooh, nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> as soon as I turn around, first thing I, I was about to say, hey, this this ravine looks promising, and uh, well, I guess I was right. This this ravine is very promising. Let's make sure we don't burn any of these. How many of these are here? One, two, three, four. Just four. You know, that's not bad. You know, four. Let's just dig around. You know, make sure there's no no more. 
Okay, you know, honestly, four is not bad. I will, I will happily take four. I kind of want to craft a water bucket so I can get across this lava a lot easier. We've got some gold over there, some more gold up there, more gold up there. Um, okay, everything seems a bit of iron, but honestly, we have over a stack of iron now. Like, that's crazy. Okay, so yeah, we'll just place down, we'll place down a furnace. And we'll go ahead and smelt up some of this iron. Should we place down two furnaces? Go on then. Let's be, let's be cheeky. Let's place down two furnaces. Okay, and then we'll start smelt. We'll just start smelting. All right. So we're gonna carry on traveling through this ravine and hopefully find some mo some more diamonds. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, <laughs> I've never seen better timing than that. How many, okay, m more here. There was five here. Is there any more? Any more hidden around? Doesn't look like it. Hey, honestly, nine diamonds. I will. Oh, pff, that's good for me. <laughs> the fact that I didn't even think I was going to be getting diamonds out of this, I will. I will happily take that. Guys, first episode and we already have diamonds. That's so crazy. Is it worth getting this gold? <laughs> oh, um, I don't think it's worth getting this gold, is it? Because you can't really do much with it. Um, in these later versions, there's not much like a. I guess I could use it as a currency, because people will be uh, set setting up shops throughout this SMP. <laughs> That's not water. <laughs> people will be setting up shops throughout the SMP, and I don't know, maybe some people will use gold as a currency. I'm tempted to make gold as a currency for my shop, because... Um, oh, will I? So you gotta think, like, what am I actually gonna value more? Because I don't, <laughs> I don't really need gold. There's so many vill uh, villagers and zombies here. Man, let me kill these. Let me kill these bad boys. How many in Hello? I've noticed they always spawn in groups now. Like, every mob in, like, 1.14 tends to spawn in, like, groups. I hear more over here. This is a... This is a pretty big cave. Hey, Mr. Skeleton. I, I should probably grab all this iron, right? We'll just use blocks to get up here. I kind of want to stay as low down as possible, though, because that's what... Oh, my God, look... Look... Let me just... Like, just admire that. Like, look at... The, look how many ores are here. <laughs> There's like so much gold, so much coal, like a lot of coal. Gold, iron, coal, you know, you name it. Wait, guys, you won't believe this though, right? You won't, you will not believe this. Inside this cave, one moment. Inside this cave, there is actually so much stone. You would not believe it, guys. It's absolutely crazy. You, like, who would have thought that underground in Minecraft, you could find stone? Like, oh, pfft. Absolutely crazy, guys. I think I think we we might just be we might be X-raying at this point. We might just be cheating. Uh, so my 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 iron pickaxe is actually very close to breaking. It's not good, and I don't really know which way to go. Like there's so much. Like this cave has just automatically become so big. There's so much to explore here. Probably not this way. Like the side that I'm at right now doesn't look very very promising. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot back here. Like it seems to go higher. And if I'm if I'm going for you know like diamonds and stuff, you kind of want to stay nice and low at like Y11. Uh, or at least below Y16. So, I think I'm going to go... Down here did look promising, to be fair. Down here, and then... How far does this go? Does that stop at there? Okay, that does stop. We're not going to bother with that. But I hear more lava over there. And I don't know if I've checked all these corners. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be anything around here. But honestly, it's looking... Ooh, unless... Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> No, go away, go away. You, 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 you. <laughs> oh, that was too close. Oh, my iron burn. But honestly, I'm super happy with all the items I've got so far. We've got a lot of iron, so we can make an anvil if we need to. You know, we can just make a bit of armor. Just the basic stuff, really. Uh, so I don't, I don't walk around looking like a homeless person anymore. I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Alright guys, so while I'm down here, I've, I've just had an idea that I'm actually just going to mine some of this obsidian that I found, um, because it saves me from coming down here in a, a second time, you know, and having to come back for more obsidian uh, when we want to make a nether portal. So, I think I am just going to, you know, let's just make sure there's no lava underneath the obsidian. I'm going to go ahead and craft a diamond pickaxe, and, uh, yeah, you know, I don't want to have to use all my diamonds. I also managed to find another five off camera, so we have 16 diamonds right now, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, you know, craft us up a nice... Am I silly? <laughs> Am I stupid? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> a nice diamond pickaxe. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. God damn. Okay. 
<laughs> so now we're going to go, you know, very, very quickly, as you can tell. Um, we're going to mine this obsidian, and we'll get in for, for an enchant table and, and, and a never portal. Ladies and gentlemen, I have returned home, and, uh, wow, I got a, we got some pretty good stuff, so we got 13 diamonds here, we have, uh, like, 45 iron there, and then we have another stack of iron cooking up here, um, so, yeah, this is the area where we're gonna be building, obviously, I think next episode I wanna focus on, I guess you could call it, not, not necessarily temporary, but, like, just my starter house, uh, one that will keep me, you know, safe over the night, and, um, so my leather tunic, as you can see, is, um, it's looking kind of battered, um, <laughs> which it, it kind of makes me sad, but I am going to have to retire this thing. I'm going to put it in the chest because, you see, I want this thing, I want this thing to last me the whole S&P. That, that is a, that is a, it belongs in a museum, you know, like that is a precious item right there. So I'm going to keep that there. And then, you know, in like a hundred episodes or so, we will still have that tunic, I promise you. I promise. But anyway, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching episode one of Cynical s &P. If you got this far, honestly, you are a real MVP. Like, thank you so much for getting to this point in the video. Um, it, I've been waiting to do this series for so long, and I'm glad it's finally here. We are going to be sticking with this. I can promise you that for a fact. And I can't wait for what's to come. Go ahead and check down the other YouTubers down in the description, and that's pretty much it. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Take care.